Thank you for joining in today and for today's lesson I'm going to be going over how to do a simple palette knife painting and I have two different um, sized palette knives here that I'm going to be using and I'm going to start off with the background first. I have here really quick I just mixed some of the phthalo green and a little bit of like a bright yellow so a nice like a bright Kelly green that came out there and this one is a little bit more minty. This one was just the phthalo green and a little bit of white. So I'm going to get started with that first. This one is actually a little bit smoother, a skinny one. And then it's up to you what kind of pattern you can like push it in a little bit and leave some of the thicker lines. See how you can see the different blues and greens in there. Or if you just wanted to drag it across and make it smooth. It really depends on what you're actually doing. I mean, this is going to be a, a floral piece. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit, like I said, my blues and greens for this one right now. And then I will show how to do the actual flower. Could use a little bit more contrast here. And again, depending on how like thick you're putting the paint down here, or your um, how much you leave your chunks, you're going to have to allow for some extra drying time. edges. I just wanted to show really quick here, um, I had an extra board so I wanted to show a little bit some difference here. This one is a lot more blended, so it's a different approach as opposed to leaving some of the, a little bit more texture in chunks. And then we're just going to push and create some of the petals.
And right here I just wanted to show the difference that this one here on the bottom is a little bit smoother while the one up top there has a lot more texture and it's um, almost like a little bit more abstract and I had just like a couple little petals that I was playing around with there and this one again is a little bit more blended and simplified. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more.